Do you have any thoughts on, on the IBIS versus OCP um, commentary or, or debates that we hear just around calcium specifically? You know, I, I, I think both modalities can help um, assess. Uh, I would recommend, you know, you kind of need both available to help, um, you know, the osteum of uh, lesions are very hard to judge with OCT because you need contrast clearance. Um, there are tricky ways of getting around it using a guideliner, but you're going to get a lot more information of, about that with IVIS. The, the other part of it is sometimes with interventions, you need to go in with your IVIS or your intracoronary imaging devices multiple times. And when you do that with OCT and you use extra contrast, that, that can hurt you during your case. Um, but I think there's value to both scoring mechanisms using IVIS or OCT. Yeah, I think their pointers on that they're kind of like a flag being way to say you've got to do something, but it doesn't necessarily point you to exactly what. So you'll have to tip, put a layer of interpretation on it to pick the next device that, that makes the most sense. I mean, from my perspective, uh, my experience, I think it can, can be a real faff and, and very tight lesions to get contrast clearance with OCT, whereas with IVIS, the images are there for you and, and the other scenarios we've sort of discussed. And I think the actual thickness of the calcium is a bit superfluous in terms of uh, something that's informing us because the end point of what we have in terms of devices to um, modify the calcium isn't really changed by that measurement. Um, and as you've pointed out already, the um, reverberation artifacts are a really great pointer that something is probably balloon dilatable or maybe cutting balloon dilatable. And the Wolverine's a very effective device for a lot of those lesions. So you don't always have to resort to the crazily expensive technology. And I think another thing that, that I've seen, uh, we sort of got our hands on, on IBL back in 2018, is for the eccentric and nodular calcium, it, it's, it's losing all its energy out into the non-calcified areas. And it doesn't really do much to those lesions. Uh, and I think people need to discover that for themselves over time. But if that's the pattern in the vessel that we're dealing with, uh, that's unlikely to be the most effective technology that you can be uh, applying to it. Uh, it'll be expensive, won't do an awful lot, and it'll still leave you with the same problems probably afterwards. Uh, so it's, uh, it's worth careful consideration.